We're on the way. Where are we headed? Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas, baby. Toronto and our next stop is Vegas. The last flight was only 4.5 hours. This one, five hours. I slept the whole way from St. John's to Toronto, but I have a feeling we're gonna be playing a lot of cards. <laughs> on this flight. So usually when we fly, Jim always gets the window seat because he's on the plane first, but this time he let me have it and I'm so glad he did because there was snow in the Grand Canyons and it was absolutely beautiful. It doesn't take us very long at all to get from the airport to our hotel. We just hop an Uber. Actually, this is our first one of many this week. Shout out to Estella. And on the way, I'm always filming everything, even though I've seen it a bunch of times, because we just love Vegas. This year, just like last year, we're staying at the Luxor Hotel, and we love it there. We'll probably stay there forever from now on. And it's actually connected to Mandalay Bay, which is where our conference is. So it really works out for us. And there's our hotel. We just had our very first Uber drive and our Uber driver was fantastic. What's your name? Estella. Estella, thank you so much Estella. Guys, if you've never taken an Uber, you need to, it's awesome. Okay, so this might be a little over the top, but I definitely wanted to include our room. We by no means work for Luxor, but you know what? I just have to show it off. It's really, really, really nice, especially for the price that you pay. We are MLife members, so we get to choose that small line when we get there. And we just love having the suite because there's more space available for us if we wanna do shoots in our room. And I like having double sinks. I don't have that feature at home. We always get to Vegas a day or two early so we can get settled in before the conference starts. The first night we get there, I usually want to go sightseeing and just walk around and take it all in. This night, we did just that. Then we're going to go get something to eat and then we're going to go back to the room and kind of chill out for the rest of the evening. But look at this. <laughs> Okay, so me and Jim are here shopping at Ross and I just noticed that we are dressed the exact same. It's day two now. 
and we went shopping yesterday, but we didn't really get enough. So we went again today. Well, Amy didn't get enough. You didn't get enough either. You got, <laughs> you got some more. Show everybody what you got. Big ol' oh bag. And this is what I'm carrying. After lunch, it was finally time to go pick up our passes for WPPI. We always pre-register, so we just have to go up and sign some forms and get our passes. The expo doesn't start for another day, but the classes are already underway. We've got our passes, but the expo doesn't open until Wednesday. Wednesday. So we couldn't do that, so instead, we came for lunch. Food. I promise eating food is not the only thing I do on this trip. On day three, we did two amazing wedding classes. Unfortunately, we could not record any footage there, but I guarantee you we learned a lot, and then we decided to take the night off. Convention Center Station. One of my favorite things to do in Vegas is check out all of the hotels. A lot of them are so unique in their own ways, like this one, the Venetian, but also my favorite, Bellagio. The very first year that me and Jim went to Vegas together, eight or nine years ago, we stayed here at the Bellagio Hotel. I fell in love with their garden. I still can't get over how they decorate this atrium. Usually when we visit for WPPI, it's during the Chinese New Year. So this year was the year of the pig, clearly. They go all out for this. They even have a giant pig. I love it. And of course, it wouldn't be a trip to Bellagio without visiting the world's largest chocolate fountain. Soon enough, it was time to get back to work. We picked up some smoke bombs, we rented a convertible, and we headed to the desert to meet the one and only Derek Berry. Derek brought along Nebraska and Nick San Pedro, who took some amazing behind the scenes photos for us, as well as some incredible 
footage. We can never thank three of them enough. It was an amazing day and one we will soon not forget. We just wrapped our shoot not long ago. We got some food. Jim is lugging most of the gear. I got a little bit too. And a backpack. Can't wait to look at these photos, guys. They're gonna be epic. Personally, we're pretty happy with how the photos turned out. A huge thank you to Derek and Nebraska and Nick for spending the afternoon and evening with us in Vegas. We had the best time. We hope you guys enjoyed the photos. The last two days of our trip to WPPI in Las Vegas, we took in some amazing courses. Some on business marketing, also a boudoir class, and a lighting course. We also hit up the expo one last time, rented some equipment and tried out some new gear, and maybe bought a few things to take back with us. Overall, it was an amazing 2019 WPPI, and we cannot wait until 2020.